friends, if you see the Ministry of uh, Health and Family Welfare website, you will find that there are only 247 of the active cases of the COVID are there, which seems to be factually incorrect because I, when I myself tested positive on 4th of uh, July 2024, so um, the, as far as this data is concerned, 247 it seems to be factually um, it's not to be very much reliable because the fear number of the people are going for testing and, and the population, especially with the, with the country having a population of 140 crores, this data seems to be very much uh, reliable because uh, uh, obviously because these data are collected only on the basis of the testings and if we think if uh, the government takes initiative measures, uh, especially the state government takes um, the measures for the uh, coronavirus testing, especially the persons who have been suffering from throat infections, uh, viral fever, and other things, that they definitely the data will go much higher. So this was the data which were collected on uh, 1st of July 2024. Now we can't find this data there on the website as then the Minister of Health and Family Welfare have made a modification of their websites. So a complaint was filed to the Human Rights Commission or from my side and says that uh, I have made a version that my, my, I tested myself positive for Coronavirus. I have the infection on 4 July 2024, and so I kept myself isolated uh, from the means uh, from the common people. So, uh, so these were the three waves were there of the coronaviruses, uh, which I have made a narration uh, before, uh, before the commission. That first wave was there in 2020, and second in 2021, and third is on 2022. So the government may have the body has shown some marked decline in the trust in in tracking the COVID cases. The following uh, point outlined my concerns are the lack of testing at the data collections. There are, has been a significant reduction in the number of the COVID testing, tests conducted uh, daily. Consequently, the actual number of infections are not accurately reflecting the absence of the reliable data on the total number of COVID daily lists conducted and its actual positive rate hampers effective public health management. More of government of India and state government are not updating their websites with the total number of active cases, total number of the tests performed per day, and that's reported due to COVID-19. As per the latest data on the Ministry of Health and Healthcare website, on India had only 247 of the active cases as on July 1st, 2024, which is available at the link. Unfortunately, this has now been removed or not accessible. There is a second issue is the neglect of the preventive measures. If you see that the public has largely stopped adhering to the social distancing norms and wearing uh, masks wearing in the public places, hospitals and metros, these measures should be mandatory to prevent further spread of the viruses. Health complications from the repeated COVID-19 infections. Various studies have shown that repeated COVID-19 infections can lead to severe health com uh, complications including inflammation, heart failures and stroke. There have been numerous reports of the young people collapsing and dying from sudden heart failures, potentially linked to the COVID post-COVID complications. These deaths often unrecorded and acknowledged by the authorities. And the right to health is a fundamental right of the average individual, including in the signed. Uh, it is the duty of the state to protect and ensure the fulfillment of these fundamental rights. Given the gravity of the situation, it is imperative. Uh, the immediate actions should uh, uh, be taken to address these issues. So it's not certain prayers were made. Now there are certain links uh, have also been uh, made to the uh, with, with the complaint. That is the garden manifestations of the coronaviruses uh, and the how SARS contributes to the heart attacks and strokes. So this number one is the heart problems. So naturally the people uh, who have been uh, reported as they say is that the heart problems and the COVID infections. Thus, the numerous reports are shows yes, there is a severe or the mild cases of the COVID can make you more likely to have heart failure or, or even a heart attack. It's very dear for the viruses that causes the COVID 19 to infect your heart muscles, but the virus can cause problems throughout your body that then leads to the heart damage. So, the COVID-19 can also affect your cardiovascular system. Some heart problems like injury to the heart muscles can show up and you have the COVID-19 infections, myocardial injury or injury to the heart muscles. 
cause of cells your heart muscles to die sometimes people with myocardial injury doesn't have even the heart disease symptoms others might have symptoms like chest pain shortness of breath or dyspnea or lower extremity swelling a provider making a diagnosis through blood test and cardiac imaging so these are information from the uh, covid can lead to the heart damage this is many clinics have reported and many studies have been made in the whole source uh, means uh, this is a study that is NIH government news events the study shows how SARS covid contributes heart attacks and strokes this was a study there so these things should not to be estimated because the new studies are there and, and because repeatedly covid infections can uh, lead to the inflammation and can causes the blood clotting and, and can lead to the cardiovascular problems especially the strokes so you probably should take some uh at the preventive measures to get rid of the, the problem so these are the thing, uh, issues which have been made uh in the form of this have been requested to the home right commissions to issue directions to the state government as the authorities to reinstate regular covid-19 testing and ensure accurate data collection and reporting and date the enforcement of the preventive measures such as mask wearing and social distancing in the public places launch of awareness campaigns to educate the people on the danger of covid-19 and importance of the preventive measures investigate the causes of the sudden heart failures and other health complications among recovery covid-19 patients and shows these cases are properly documented and addressed uh, direct to central government and state governments regularly update their websites and accurate and current data on active covid-19 cases daily tests conducted and covid-19 related problems health is a state subject so appropriate directions needs to be given to both the central and the state governments so this was a kind of a prayer which was made so kindly share your opinion if you are if you agree with this thank you